with you friends. I am Lainey. Hi, I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about Fake It Till You Make It. All of the information will be down below, including the author and where to purchase the book. Fake It Till You Make It is a story of Sloan, and I actually remember this because I literally just finished reading it today. Sloan has written a blog, but it was one of those blogs that she had not published. She basically just did it for uh, therapy of what she was going through, where she talks about a guy that she has been in love with pretty much since he was 17. It accidentally got published and went viral and she went home to her hometown and everyone wants to know who this guy is because she doesn't mention him by name. But there is a bartender in her hometown who she barely knows, who knows who it is. So when she comes back home, she pleads with him, please don't, please don't tell anybody who it is because of her connection to who this person is. He doesn't know she likes him. So the bartender, for reasons of his own, also decides that he will go along with a little plot to pretend like he is the guy, therefore faking it. <laughs> ah. But it, it has this whole like subplot of He's trying to save his bar because there's another bar in another city that's taking all of their customers away. So she's trying to use her being viral and popular online to drive people to his bar as kind of a tit for tat. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. It was a fun book. I thought it was fun. There's a part where the guy, they totally dress the guy up in like glitter and like a mermaid for reasons. <laughs> What Something reasons? about this strikes me like crazy ex-girlfriend. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> not really. Um, in fact, it, it it definitely turns out a lot, I think, a lot better in my opinion than crazy ex-girlfriend. There's, there's this whole like week of like festivities where they have to do a pageant and a float and, and a talent competition. So, yeah. It's like Pirates and Mermaids or something. I think that's what it's called. And it's a really fun, I, I think it's a really fun book. I gave it four stars because, um, again, it's one of those books that I'm just like, oh, it's really nice to read right now. It kind of takes you away to a place you don't have to worry about right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, go ahead and check it out if you like those kind of books, kind of fun books. Um, I like to intersperse my books between fun books and kind of like more heavy books. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay sane. Bye-bye.